Hey everybody, what is up? And welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna go back in time and we're gonna dive into this 100th anniversary Crossman pump air rifle that takes me back to when I was a kid when I first started shooting air rifles. So stay tuned, we're gonna dive right into this gun. Everybody. All right, welcome back to the channel and today I'm pretty excited. I've got a really cool air rifle from Crossman here and um, This thing takes me back to when I was a kid when I first started shooting air guns My first air gun was a Daisy Red Rider, which I think a lot of us had and then when you were a kid Upgrading to that was getting that pump air gun and back then it was the Crossman. I think 760 that had um, the squared kind of stock and metal frame everything um, was like the upgrade and then um, they started coming out with other versions that had the handle on it and everything like that But to be able to get that pump air rifle was like a big deal um, I've been shooting a little Daisy Red Rider since I was a kid I've had some sort of pump variable on and off throughout the years. Um, I didn't really get into like really um, super nice higher-end brake barrels and stuff until probably about 12 years ago. I mean my grandfather had a really nice German one that I believe was a, a Viroc um, when I was a kid and I shot that a bunch and that was super cool and I always wanted one of those but I never got one and it was about 12 years ago when I bought my first uh, um, well not technically I bought one two years prior to that um, which was a Crossman and I'll show that to you guys down the road but um, when I bought my first one that was like more of the hunting higher end I bought a um, I bought a Gamo Varmint Hunter um, in .22 and 12 years ago, and in that same year, I also bought the Benjamin Nitro Piston um, XL in the camel version, which I am going to be doing a review on here soon. Um, I broke that thing back out, put a scope on it, and been messing with that a little bit, so we'll be doing that. But today, let's get past all that. That's kind of my little air gun history, and let's talk about this. This is the 100th anniversary uh, edition. Um, of Crossman um, this is the legacy 1000 I got some specs over here on my phone that I'm gonna pull up for you guys because this is the easiest way for me to do it if I can make it happen um, so I can read it off to you guys but this is the legacy 1000 100th anniversary edition um, I took a peek at it but I didn't really open up or do anything so I haven't done anything with this gun or anything but um let's take it out of the box then I'm gonna read off the specs to you and then we're gonna do a little shooting at um, 10 and 20 yards I'm gonna shoot pellets I've, I've got two different types of pellets we're gonna use here we got the JSB 8.14 8 I mean 8.44 grain um, exact Diablo and I've got your regular Crossman Premier hollow points in 177 these are 7.9 grain pellet um, in my experience Crossman rifles like Crossman pellets but I think the JSBs will do as as good as these but we're gonna kind of try both I do have a target set out there at 20 yards, and then I've got some other targets, some metal targets that we're going to shoot at a little bit, um, just to, to plink around a little bit as well and see what the accuracy is. And then I may do some, uh, uh, um, some BB shooting on paper just to kind of show you guys what that is like as well. I haven't, not sure if we'll get to that or not, it just depends on how much sunlight I got left. But let's get into the unboxing of this gun because it's kind of cool. Now, a lot of people, if you guys look on this box, so you guys see it has a brown barrel band up here right there it doesn't come with a brown barrel band it comes in black and there's been a few people that made videos already and they've pointed that out um i don't really care um would it have been cool sure but does it matter no so this is kind of what it looks like in the box it does come with an anniversary tin of pellets um which we will show you guys as well but it's boxed really well it's got some padding on it it came inside another box um comes with a manual now i did glance at the manual it says you can pump this up to 12 times um, so we will check that out as well. Um, it's a, it's a pretty nice little gun. Um, let's, uh, put this back together. It does, let's set this up here. It does on the back of the box, um, have the, um, shows anniversary. So I am going to save this box as well because it has 
anniversary stuff on the back as well, which is kind of cool. So we're going to save that as well. Um, just in case. I mean, I don't think there's a limited number of these things, but uh, um, you never know. I mean, I, I've been looking at some older guns, looking at some older air rifles, trying to pick them up, and they've gotten pretty expensive. So you never know how that's going to work out or how that's going to play out. Let's set this down here. And so on this gun, I don't know if you guys can see that it does have Legacy 1000 Anniversary Edition right there. And it also has 100th Anniversary Edition on the stock, which is just printed on there. So if you shoot this a lot, probably going to wear off on you. But uh, um, I don't care. I'm going to shoot it. I don't, I don't buy things not to shoot. It's got a fiber octet front sight. It's got a metal adjustable rear sight. Um, here's your loading point right here. Pull that back, put it in. If you're going to do BBs, you pull this down right here, fill your BBs in there. You've got a little slide port here. You pull this back, shake them down, then let them go forward. And then it's it's just pump, cock shoot, or cock pump shoot, however you want to do it. Safety right here, on and off. So, and then you pump it, and that's it. So, it's a pretty simple, um, old school little gun. Um, uh, it looks pretty good. It is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is plastic. It does have a metal uh, pump receiver in there. I think that's what they're saying is the trade-off um, to not having the metal receiver because I believe the the normal Legacy 1000 that comes in just black is this is metal, and then the pump receiver that's in there, the rod that's in there, is actually black. Um, so uh, that's kind of the trade-off. I don't really care. It's just going to be a fun little gun to shoot. Um, I'm going to read off some of this stuff here for you guys real quick let me blow it up here so it says three to twelve pumps you got to pump it at least three times to get to work up to twelve pumps 177 caliber pellets and bb's um single shot um for pellets you gotta load each time and repeater for bb's you just cock it and, and it'll load another bb until you run out of that little chamber up there um it's got a rifled steel barrel um synthetic all-weather stock 100 year anniversary on the stock gold plated receiver Integrated BB reservoir, which is that up here. It has a 850 BB capacity, which is kind of cool if you're plinking. Um, textured grip. It says max velocity, 1,000 feet per second with alloy pellets. 700 feet per second with uh, lead pellets. And 800 feet per second with BBs. So that's not too bad. Um, adjustable wind is elevation. It does have 11 millimeter. Um, it says, yeah, it's got 11 millimeter dovetail ring. Don't know if I'd really use that because that is plastic. Um, probably stay away from that. Um, cross bolt safety, and it tells you never shoot BBs at steel targets, which is true. And it was built in America. So there you guys go. That's the quick rundown of this gun. Um, so, like I said, I've got a I got a target out there at um, um, 20 yards, and it's a paper target, and we're gonna take and shoot some PBs, BBs. I mean, not BBs. Ugh. We're gonna take and shoot some pellets out of it and see what kind of accuracy we can get. Probably, we're gonna probably start with 10 pumps and see what we get, and then get go up to 12 because I really want to go for accuracy um, with this. So let's uh, see what kind of shooting we do. We are shooting with iron sights, so I'm not sure where that sight's gonna be set at to even shoot. So. We're just taking it out of the box and we're winging it. I know I haven't cleaned the barrel or anything like that. This is out of the box and we're going to let some, some lead pellets fly down range. So let's get to the shooting part of this and see what this little thing can do at 20 yards. All right, everybody. So now we're at the shooting portion of this. I did a little shooting off uh, camera for a minute just to kind of see what this thing likes as, as, as well as, as how many pumps it likes. It seems to be eight pumps is, is pretty good for getting some Actually, I was shooting my little spinner targets there that flip up, and I was able to hit them pretty consistently. So we're gonna go with eight pumps, and that was with these Crossman Premiers. We're gonna shoot 20 yards though, see what kind of group we can get. We're using iron sights, and we're just shooting for a group now, so this might shoot a little low. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but it seems like eight pumps was good. Um, it's a little hard to pump. This thing's a little, little, little tricky to pump, especially with a guy with um, shoulder injuries and stuff. But um, we're going to get at it and we're going to see what kind of groups we got. I've got a camera set up here so you guys will be able to see that on video as well. 20 yards out. Um, so the one thing I don't like about this gun is that the loading port is really hard to load a, a pellet in. You basically got to take your pellet and just kind of drop it in there. And then look at it and make sure it 
it's set in the way it was and then load it so there's not very fast loading to it so um we're gonna take a couple shots i am gonna cut out the pumping part of this so you guys don't have to watch me pump this thing up and and we're gonna take five shots and see what kind of a group we get so let's get at it That's one. Oh, see, it just rolled in there opposite. That's what I don't like, is you, you really, trying to roll that pellet in there and get it in there is kind of a pain. You just kind of got to drop in there. That's two. That's three. Four. That's five. All right, let's go see what that looks like. All right, everybody, so here we are. This was 20 yards, 20 yard group. There's the shot group right there. Um, that was with the Crossman Premier 7.9 pellets. I got an MOA coin here to kind of, I'm gonna put it in the center of that grouping so you guys can kind of see. If I go in the center of that grouping, that's kind of looks like. So it's a little bit more than a inch. Um, they're almost touching on the edge of the coin. So, I'd say it's probably like inch and a half group, you know, it's under two inches for sure. Cause this coin is like an inch. It's an MOA, um, coin from air guns in Arizona. So it's, it's probably an inch and a half group at 20 yards, open sights. First time I shot it. So, I mean, it hasn't even been broken in and you guys do know that air rifles need a little break in time and they settle down and shoot a little better. But now we're going to, um, take and shoot the, uh, we're going to shoot the, JSB pellets, a little bit heavier pellet, but I wanted you guys to see that so you guys can kind of see that's 20 yards open sights. Um, it's good enough to take a squirrel or a rabbit for that matter. Um, and I'm sure I can shoot tighter groups. Um, the light's getting a little dark out here. It's getting hard to see. So let me get this target reset up and uh, we will shoot some uh, uh, um, of the 8.44 uh, JSBs and maybe that'll give us a tighter group. But again, I want you guys to see that. That's the MOA coin, that's a five shot group. Oh, I forgot about that one. So it might be just under two inches. It's about two inch group at 20 yards open sights. So you guys, you guys make a judgment and, and tell me, but that's still, it's not terrible for just taking it out of the box and shooting it at 20 yards. So um, let's get the JSBs out. I'm gonna get this target patched up and we'll stick it out there and do it. And then I'll take a picture of this as well so we can kind of um, compare the two. I'll put them up in the, in the corner when we're done. So let's get to doing that. All right, everybody. So now we're gonna do it with the JSB 8.1, 8 point, I keep saying one four, 8.44 grain BBs. Um, the JSB Diablo Exacts 8.44 grain BB. Why do I say BBs? <laughs> 8.44 grain pellet, not BB. I'm not shooting BBs. Ugh, getting tongue tied here. So anyway, these are Doan pellets. Um, let's see how well they group compared to those crossmans. And I will tell you right now that loading this thing is a pain in the butt. I mean, it's a cool little gun, but trying to get your pellet to fall in there when it drops out of your hand and stuff, and you drop it on the ground and ding it and dent it, this thing is not 
very load pellet friendly, especially if you got bigger fingers. I feel sorry for anybody that's got bigger fingers because it's tricky to get it in there. So anyway, let's see what we can do. one now remember I'm only doing eight pumps as well so keep that in mind get one that's two it's very hard for me to see that little dot. Should put a big orange spot on there. It's like you gotta drop and hope for the best. <laughs> it's not. make for easy loading. I can't even see the dot. Four. One more. All right, so that's five shots, and I can tell you right now, other than that one flyer, that's a really good group, and these JSBs are the way to go with this gun. So let's go get the target and check that out. All right, everybody, I think you're really going to like this. Here's my target right here. That's the JSB 8.44 grain pellets. Four shots right there, one there, and that is totally my fault because I can't even see that really, you know. So I'm shooting iron sights 20 yards away, all of those in there, I mean, basically, all those are on top of each other at 20 yards with iron sights with this gun. Coin totally covers up, and then this was definitely my fault. Definitely my fault, because I couldn't see it, so I actually kind of covered it up with the sight. And the way I'm holding is I'm holding the sight where I'm touching that that um, the, the pin of the sight to the bottom of this uh, dot right here. That's where I'm holding at. I'm holding right here where my sight picture is touching the bottom of this to get that group. And that's 20 yards open sights. Look at that. Boom. Other than that one flyer, that's what I call some really nice shooting. And I just took this thing out of the box. I mean, I literally just took it out of the box and started shooting it. That's 20 yards away, open sights, JSB pellets. Um, you can't ask for anything better than that in a little pump um, air rifle like this. So it's definitely going to be viable for 20 yards or less taking like a squirrel or even a rabbit um eight pumps is doing really well i'll do some more testing at 10 pumps and stuff but i did a little quick testing with it um just messing around and it seemed eight pumps was giving it its best accuracy and that's why i went with eight pumps and you can see why i did because that's the kind of group we got i'm gonna take a picture of this but look at that that's all underneath that coin you know and 
you guys know the name of the game. It's hard to eliminate those flyers. Just imagine if I hadn't had that flyer. That's an awesome group, 20 yards, open sights. So let's wrap this video up. Um, that's pretty cool. I will put both of these up in the corner when I'm doing the wrap-up video so you guys can see the two different groups. And um, just to show you, like, if we put the coin in the center, it's still, if you were going center to center, it's still not terrible at 20 yards, open sights. You're still taking out a squirrel or a rabbit in the head. So anyway, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, it's getting dark out, but I wanted to shoot one target. I can barely see it. I've got it in the scope here. It's kind of blurry, but it's a squirrel target. We're going to see if we can do a headshot on him. Open sights. I can't even see it. You should see it pop down. You can see the orange little circle down the bottom. I wanted to do some steel target shooting, but it's getting dark on me. Eight pumps. We're going to see what we can do. I hit it but I can't I can't even see it I can't even see it so let's see my little light kicked on out here it's getting dark quick there we go second time around you guys saw it fall down right there that's a kill shot on a squirrel that targets like 18 yards away um, wanted to do at least one um, let me try the prairie dog at 20 yards let's see if we can get the prairie dog at 20 yards so I got to reset this camera real quick let me see if I can turn it over here to my prairie dog out there you can't see the orange very well on the prairie dog what about this guy let's try this guy I got another prairie dog he's up against a tree Oh uh, no. Alright, we're gonna try this guy. This prairie dog is 20 yards away. See if I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys. It's blurry because it's dark out and my phone camera is just not doing well once it gets into that area. So let's. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that little top circle. That's the best you guys are gonna get in this lighting, but we're gonna go for it. So let's see what this little burger can do. I can't even see it with my naked eye, but we're gonna try to get him in a, get a kill shot on that guy with this. Let's see. Boy, I can't see it. Can we hit it, but we can't, I can't, I can't even see it. We can do it. We can do it. I know we can do it. It's getting dark, dark. I cannot see the bull at all. So we're just winging it. And there you go second shot he is down let me go make sure um, but it looks like it shot it out so I'm gonna run down there and check <laughs> yep. All right, how'd you guys like them apples? I'm shooting almost in the dark, 20 yards away, second shot, hit that prairie dog, took it down. Pretty excited about that, considering I couldn't even see the bullseye on that thing at all. I just could barely, barely make out kind of where the circle was and just went for it. So um, that kind of shows you that this is a good little gun, man. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. I mean, this gun was, uh, it's $58, $59. Um, I bought mine on Amazon for $53. Bucks. It's like $58.99 on Pyramid Air. 
And uh, for a good little plinker and a good little gun accurate out to 20 yards, a pumper, iron sights, I mean, and you get groups like this, you know, with JSB pellets, I mean, I mean, that's four pellets right there on top of each other and one flyer. I mean, I'm not going to complain with that all for a little $58 pump pellet gun. Um, it seems to be eight pumps is is like the perfect zone. And every one of these pump air guns has like that perfect spot to pump for the pellet that you're shooting that gets you the best accuracy out of what you want to do. It. So it's not always about pumping it up the full amount of pump full amount of pumps to get that accuracy to do that and this thing it's it, it has enough power to knock down those steel targets at 20 yards so that's enough power to definitely take out a squirrel or a rabbit at 20 yards or less easily you know with what it's putting out um on there you know i wouldn't you know squirrels rabbits and, and birds small birds you know this is a great little gun i mean heck you could even take this thing out I mean, if you guys live out west you could probably take out a damn prairie chicken if you don't know what a prairie chicken is it's grouse but they let you get really close to them, and you can get within, you know, a couple yards. Hell, I've, I've had my horse step on them before because they won't move. So, uh, I don't know why that's kicking on. But, uh, you know, it's a cool little gun. And just for a fun plinker, you know, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to shoot the BBs because it got dark. Maybe we'll do that in another video um, just for plinking. But, yeah, I mean, I know it's getting dark out here. But, uh, super cool little gun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you can still see me, but here you go. That's the cool little, it's dark out there. That's the little Crossman uh, Legacy 1000. Um, this is the anniversary edition, and it was a fun little video to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down there. Um, questions, comments, leave down there as well. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And we will see you guys on the next video. So take care and have a good one, and get out there and do some shooting, some fishing, and just get in the outdoors, man. Oh yeah, if you guys were wondering what the anniversary tin looked like, this is the one that it came in it, so you guys can kind of see it. I know it's dark out here, but that was a little tin. Till it, till it, so you guys can kind of see it. That's what it looks like. Um, these are collectible little tins. You may shoot them, may shot. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm going to save it. But that's what it is. We'll see you guys in the next video.